What is happening YouTube? It's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how to transfer files to iOS 13. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified in the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and iOS 13. And today we're gonna show you to how to transfer files to your DJI Osmo Pocket, something like this, maybe a GoPro, or even from your SD card or your camera. Here we go. As you guys already know that Apple released iOS 13 Beta 1, and today we're gonna show you how well it does on transferring files from different devices. As you guys already know that USB-C is what you need for your iPad Pro. Just like that. So let's go ahead and put that on the side. There you go. Now, now this side is gonna be on the device side. So let's try out our, our GoPro Hero 5. Let's power it up. Here you go, open up the back. The, the side door there and plug it in. As you guys can see, the iPad recognizes it. There you go. Let's try to import one, see how it does. Selected. As you guys can see, it was able to import it right from your right from the GoPro. Let's go ahead and keep it for now. Let's leave that there. Let's go try it out. DJI Osmo Pocket now. Let's go ahead and open this up. If you haven't seen my video on that case for the DJI Osmo Pocket, then you can go, I'll link that down below. What you want to do is power it up, plug it on the bottom and see if that works. If not, we're going to have to go through a different route. So the first one did not work. What we had to do is take out the adapter on the front, plug it into the bottom, just like the normal way on the USB-C side. And then as you can see here, we were able to obtain all the, all the files on our DJI Osmo Pocket. So now let's try out to, um, let's try to import one of them. Let's try out this one, download it. And there you go, nice and quick. Beautiful. Now let's try out our camera. Now in this case, uh, we don't have a USB-C slot for our camera, it was an older camera. So we'll need the USB just like this. I have this hub from Koei Tech. Let's plug it into the side. I made an unboxing video of this on iOS 12. If you guys wanna see that, I'll link that down below as well. Guys, go ahead and check that out. So basically what you'll do is just plug this in on the USB side. And there you go. And now we're gonna put this on our camera. There you go. Make sure to power on your camera and you should be good to go. When we go to our files app, you'll be able to see no name. I wonder if this is it. Okay, there we go. As you guys can see there, 
I was able to plug in my camera straight to the iPad Pro with this USB hub. It did not kick in right away with my Files app, but in this case, I was able to just go in and open Files app and it recognizes my USB, which is right there. It recognizes my camera. So therefore, I was able to just click it, go to DCIM, and I could now I could see all my files. These are all the raw raw files that I've that I have on my on my camera. Was able to recognize it just like that. It's pretty good. So as you guys can see there, you guys can go ahead and drag and drop these now to your iPad. No problem at all. So that you can edit it to Lightroom or whatever. Or whatever program or app you are using for your iPad. As of right now, it's still a little bit buggy, I guess, because it's not showing up my some of my photos. Maybe it just takes a little bit of time to load. But this is a big improvement coming from the iOS 12 because before you had to put it all in your Photos app rather than putting it on um, on iCloud Drive or somewhere else here on your Files app. Now this won't cloud your Photos app anymore, which is a really good thing. And you'll be able to just delete them as they go as well here by doing that real easy now let's try out our SD card maybe you don't want to plug in you don't want to bring a another cable for your camera so let's take out our SD card and straight to the to the hub and let's see if our iPad would handle it well as well there you go the right way I guess there you go as you guys can see there right away you would show the no name again same one from camera but now it's through the SD card slot it's pretty cool and it's the same files just like we saw before you can also drag it right like that and put it on your iPad as you guys can see there, now we have it on our files. And there you go. Now let's try putting uh, two different cards into here. Maybe let's take out our DJI Osmo Pocket card and let's see if I can, how well can the iPad do handle this? Let's go and take that out. There you go. Let's put that on the side. There you go. As you guys can see there, this is the this is the SD card. This is the micro SD, as I as I mentioned before. Now I'm able to see all all my files right here, just like that. For my DJI Osmo Pocket, so that's pretty cool. Let's plug in our GoPro now. Here we go. Let's see if the file app will recognize it. Turn it on.
It's charging it, so it should recognize it, right? I think that's still a negative for the GoPro on the files app. Now let's look at an external hard drive for our iPad Pro. Let's plug it in. And there you go. As you guys can see there, I'm able to see all my files. So let's go ahead and play that. There you go. So you guys can see there, you'll be able to watch movies and look at all your files on your iPad Pro from on your external hard drive to your iPad Pro. Maybe you're on the go and you wanna put all your files from uh, external to external. You can select all just like that and put it on your external hard drive just like that well that's it for the day guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i was able to help you with your ipad needs this is the way that apple is trying to transition the ipad to a much greater population where it has more function like a pc like a real computer Comment below what you want to see on iOS 13, on iPad OS 13 as well. Check out my other videos on how to install iOS 13 and tvOS 13. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.